Hi guys, welcome back to another Steam Free to Play walkthrough. Today we have Backbone, which I gather is a, an investigative game where you play as a raccoon. It is the prologue, so it is not the full game. Ooh, look at that pixel animation. The unhealthy raccoon <laughs> smoking a cigarette in the tub, <laughs> living his best life. My goodness. Oh, is that for me? Go get it. Are you ain't gonna go get it? Probably go get that. Oh, there we go. Hey, that was quick. Sorry, I missed your call. Yeah, no problem. 27 on the buzzer. That me. You want me to do something here? Oh, he's doing it himself. Just enough time to clean up. Yeah, perfect, man. You did that, like, super quick. Okay, AD to move around and E to interact with objects. Alright. What object can I interact with? Wait a second. Oh, oh sorry. Oh, I didn't get to, I didn't get to read it. Call mom, buy soap, pay bills, don't die. Photochemicals. Leaving developers in the kitchen is a short road to poisoning or great soup. Dang, I really wish I got to read the first thing. I hit the E button too quick. The toilet. This is important. What's in the toilet? The great apes, the great story, swell toilet read, better leave it here. That's true. You never know when you might need it. Elliot Graham said it best. Enlightening account on the last beacon of civilization and its masterful architects essential. Are there other books? Oh, there is. Among many great stories, the great story stands out as a gripping yet edifying tale of our tenacious leaders as their crusade to usher in the era of prosperity for the city and its citizens. Oh, is that all of them? Okay, we read all the books. Good for us. This game is pretty gorgeous for a pixel game. Hard to get tired of this view. Oh wait, does he say something else? Wonder what these old weathered stones say, would say if they could talk. Howie, I couldn't no vine today. Do you like it? <laughs> Apes. I could use a quick smoke outside. Me too. I don't smoke, but we could share one. Be cool. Place chemicals. Nailed it. Everything knows its proper place. <laughs> Case files. Insurance frauds, lost cars, strange lovers. Should probably get rid of some of these old case files eventually. Nah, man, you never know when you might need them. Inspect the desk. Use mouse to drag and drop items. Some items can be picked up by pressing E. E. What can I drag and drop? Drag and drop some of this. Probably need our cigarettes, right? We wanted to go get a smoke. Is that it? We took the bowl. Which means it needs to go in the kitchen. Because uh, we don't leave no mess here. Where's our sink at? Place dishes. I'll wash these later. Probably not. What a re rebel. Oh, somebody's knocking on my door. That must be Mr. Green. Oh, we were supposed to do that stuff anyways. <laughs> okay. Mrs. Green, I guess. Odette. Excuse me, I'm looking for Detective Lotor. We spoke on the phone. I wonder how important these are. At your service, Miss Green. Trust you've had a pleasant day. I've had better. I've had worse. Truthfully, my back is killing me today. Pregnancies are rough on the spine, to let me tell you. And please, Odette is fine. Odette, how can I help you today? We'll do all number two answers for this first run, just in case we can see if it's different. I, um, well, I understand this sort of thing is routine in your line of work. It's about my husband, you see. What's the matter? He hasn't been himself lately, getting home at odd hours, and every time I try to talk about it, he gets... But no matter. It's just embarrassing to admit. Hold up. What's happened when you've tried to talk to him? He gets difficult. It's like everything's still somehow my fault, and he's... But I'm sorry, is this relevant? What I need to know is if you can get proof. Something that, I, that I'll hold up in court. Court? Are you filing for divorce? That's right. And above all, I need something damning enough that custody won't be a question. One last thing. Let's talk about case details. I'll need a picture and some information about his routine. Of course, anything you need. What would you like to know? What does he look like? Here's a photo. He's an otter, otter, of course. A bit shorter than you and kind of chunky. He wears glasses and square kind, and his wedding band, as far as I know. 
Oh, and he carries a black briefcase to and from work. You met any of his friends? I haven't met them, but he mentions some guys from time to time. Sometimes he hangs out with them after work. What's his full name? Jeremy Green. I think people at work call him Jazz for short. Sure. Where does this E come from? Where can I find him usually? Well, supposedly he goes to work and then comes home, but I know sometimes he goes somewhere else after work, occasionally before. Now it's become more frequent. Hold up. How do you know he goes somewhere else after work? He hasn't been hiding it well. His behavior is all abnormal. He gets home late, misses work, lies, and smells funny. What's the funny smell? Like perfume, and not mine. Alcohol, smoke, and sometimes... And something else I can't pinpoint, but it's poignant. Kind of herbal stink, a skunk. How do you know he's been missing work? Apes. I, what's that mean? Why do they keep saying that? Apes, I feel so ashamed. He's going to get terminated if he continues like this. I've gotten calls. At first, they wondered if he was homesick. I lied for him a couple times, too. One last thing. Let's talk case details. I'll need a picture and information about his routine. Of course, anything you need. What would you like to know? Where does he work? At the Wolf Bank on Granville. I can write the address down for you. Anyway, I, I would be able to pick him out of a crowd. Well, I lay his clothes out for him every morning. He has to wear a suit for work. I picked out his green tie and hat for him today. That's all I need. Now the awkward part. Payment. I can give you 100 now and 50 when you're done. Would that be enough? Yes, plus any unexpected expenses during this investigation. Got a lot riding on this, and I only get one shot. Funds are limited, you know. What assurance can I, you make that you're, you're the right man for the job? I'd bet my tail you're here because someone recommended me. You're not wrong, but that's just one case. I know you've helped sport. Are there others? That's confidential. That's not very reassuring. I'm very good at what I do, Miss Odette. If I wasn't, I wouldn't be allowed to practice. I hope so. It's very important that you don't get caught, you understand? Of course, I'll get right on that, Odette. Talk soon. Press tab to access detective menu. My office. Uh, okay. Notes to sell. Reminder to call mom. It's not difficult to remember, just difficult to stop for the cast menu. Media set is bricked again. Frankie could possibly fix it, but I'd have to take it all the way down to Fustale. Hi, Odell Green wants proof of her husband's affair to get a divorce and win custody of her children. Past surveillance, photographic or other substantial evidence of infidelity. Target Jeremy Green, alias Jazz, Otter, Chubby, Average Height, Square Glasses, works at Wolf Bank on Grainville, 9 to 7 p.m. Should be a good place to pick up his trail. He's wearing a green hat today and tie today. Has a black suitcase and a wedding band on his left hand. Payment 100 up front, 50 after, plus expenses. Should be easy peasy. How do you up before? The oh, I did that one. Find Jeremy Green. He works at Wolf Bank. Okay. Let's go. Not my cigarette. Burning without me smoking it. Very quickly, I might add. God, he inhales that thing, don't he? Granville smells like wet concrete, overpriced food, and puke. By a kind of battleground. What's up, squirrel? Hey, what's up, old man? Take a look, have you What about you, young man? Just hanging, what are you doing? You can say I'm hanging, too. From my hanging to yours, peace, bro. Take a look at this photo. Have you seen this guy around? Nah, man, sorry. What are you, some kind of pervert? Well, I'll see you. I guess I am. Berman. One slick silver tongue, devil of a mountain lion. When I go crazy and kill someone, I hope I can afford him. Oh, there's a sprint mine. Ha ha ha, that's cool. Anatoly. Hey, man, where to? Hey, my man, where to? Anatoly, it's me, Howard. How's Estrella and the kids? Ah, Mr. Howie. Come in and give me a hug. Esty and I are good, good. We got a second lag coming up soon. Second? Wow, you guys are lucky. 
We are, we are. And it's a big one. Essie is as round as a beach ball. So I tell her, my woman, you getting any bigger and I won't fit you into a chunk of a car. <laughs> Great, can you answer some, a couple of my questions? You scallywag, you. She just turns to me with those the eyes of a killer and says, hand me the bread, honey. Ha ha ha, oh boy, women, man. Women. <laughs> Mysterious creatures, they love bread. <laughs> so we break the news to our boy Victor. Son, you're gonna be a bro soon. And he's like, oh no, <laughs> what's it mean? What's it mean, Anatoly? So I teach him, mama and dad have worked hard. So apes gave us a chance to have another baby, baby boy just like you. Rare chance for sure. Sure is. Little Victor, poor soul, starts laughing. Oh, daddy, we're going to be happy. Baby bro. And I are going to play all the time. And I say, sure, son, but here's a catch. There's a catch? I wonder if this is time-based. If daddy has two baby bros to take care of, baby bro now has zero daddies because daddy has to work four shifts instead of two. <laughs> well, that took a turn for a dark turn. You okay, man? I'll manage. I'll manage. Now, what are you doing here? I'm looking at this guy. Here's a picture. Have you seen him recently? Yeah, I've seen him. Jokey joke type of guy. Smelled really bad. Took him out from out to bite home a couple times. If you guys talked, did he mention anything strange? Nah, he was too wasted to talk most of the time. He smelled. The smell talk for him, heh. <laughs> what do you smell like? Ah, uh, you know, hard to describe. The poopy butt kind of smell. Mixed with perfume, cigarettes, and herbs. Awful, awful stuff. He said he's with a skunk. Where can I find him now? I don't know. Try the bite. But it's a goopy place. Keep your eyes peeled. Thanks, Anatoly. You're a true detective. Send regards to Estrella. Take care, my man. Bye. Bye. What's this? The Vogue. You did a good, great job restoring The Vogue. If people watched more movies, maybe they, the world wouldn't be so sad. That's true. I like movies too. Who is that? Ben Simmons? Eden, Eden Simmons is a rising jazz star. See her tonight only at the Bite Club. Neat. Should I check this out when I'm... No, I gotta go there anyways. When I'm done with the case. Remember what Anatoly said, man? How do you already forget? Wolf Bank, this is where Green works. It's closed. What's up, kitty? Yeah? Good evening, what are you doing, gentlemen? Why do you care? Yeah. <laughs> Take a look at this photo. Is Jez around? And who are you? Oh, you know him. Asshole owes me money. I've been looking for him everywhere. Well, say hi to Derek here, because you two are probably not going to see your money again. I'll try to find the asshole. Have you seen him today? Yeah, but the wimp ass left early. He's scared Derek's going to split his wig. <laughs> happen to work. Heard his contact is not getting renewed. Bastard had coming. Where do you think he could be headed after work? What? Say you boys. Home to his nagging old bitch of a wife. To the gutter where he belongs. Only apes knows. What's apes? Will you be with someone? You reckon harlots are sort of girl girlfriends and sure. Could be with one of them, for all I know. You boys spend time with him outside of work? Yeah. We used to have a blast at the bite every Thursday. He's no fun anymore, though. The bite? Could he be there now? If he is, be sure to let him know he's as good as dead. Good luck, Rack. Sure thing. Thanks for your help. Uh. New objective. We gotta go to the bite. Hmm. Might not quite fit in with this fancy crowd. Thankfully, I'm a charming boy. Well, that's a bear. Up, son. You gonna let me in, Bouncer? No interest, raccoons. Or 
No interest for raccoons. Bye. Goodbye. Perhaps a couple of loons would change mind. Sure, we can arrange something, big boy. What you need? Give me a personal invitation signed by the great apes, and I'll let you in. Deal. I'm um, sure. Bye. Ah, uh, that didn't work out. Wait a second. Rematch. Can I get inside? Still no. Don't ask again. I'm gonna sneak in then. How about that one? I'm getting in there. Back alleyway, I guess. Let's go. He's sneaking in. What's this raccoon doing? Larry. Howard. Well, I'll be damned. Is that you? Larry? It's me. It's been too long. What's going on, old man? <laughs> Who are you calling old, you old rascal? <laughs> All right, that's fair. Plus, these rags likely don't help my appearance any. I didn't expect to see you here, to be honest. Well, who really expects to see anyone of note in the back alley? What's going on? What are you up to? I'm still a private detective. I'm happy for you. My kind of my get kind of went downhill since then. What happened? Ran out of places to crash. What are you doing these days? I'm sorry, Larry. Not your fault, but who would have thought I'd see you again with my own eyeballs? Isn't that great? Let me know if you need anything, deal? Sure thing, now what's your deal? Have you seen that other guy around? What did he do? Can't tell, kind of confidentiality. Must be a shifty guy, what's he like? He's about my height, chubby, wears a cat, green hat. Haven't seen him, sorry. Hope you guys find him. You always knew what to do with guys like this. Come back anytime. I'll, I'm here often, hear people talk. Awesome. Go on then, don't let an old slug like me keep you. Well, Bouncer won't let me get into the bite. Tough break. It's really more of a cat-dog crowd in there. You said you're guys on Audrey? I've never thought to look there. Have any ideas of how I could get in? You're in luck. They're my neighbors, you see. Let's see, they use that, this alley door for deliveries, or you can ask Johnny, he'd know better than me. Tell me about Johnny, squirrel kid with the leather jacket. He's a pusher. I don't entirely know what his deal with the bite is, but they're chummy. You think he'd help? Might take some convincing, but he's chill. Bet my rings he's easier to persuade than the bouncer. What sort of stuff does Johnny sell? Uh, as far as I can tell, your typical, like, height, catnip, and shatter fang. Oh, get this. He started rolling out something called monkey butt. Who comes up with these? It's like they don't want you to do drugs. Monkey butt. Yeah, words. Th this thing knew things to shit. Perhaps a better, bit less figuratively than one might wish. Stanky thing. Does it have a kind of herbal snake? I've no first-hand experience, but I guess that could be a more delicate way to put it. Ah, and what did you mean, Chani's chummy with the bite? He's friendly with the staff, and I've seen him help people cutting. Cut the line, his clients, I think. Maybe Johnny's got a partnership with the bite. Could be. What are you working, theories? Gotta be mutually beneficial somehow. You might be onto something, I'm not sure. Alright, I'm it's enough information out of you. I should be able to get into the bite. You got it, Howard. It's no trouble. Welcome to Straction, really, in fact. If you want to know more about the bite, all you gotta do is ask. I think I've got enough. I need to find Johnny. Johnny the squirrel I saw at the beginning? I think he might be. Go check. At least I'm in good shape so I can run far distances. 
What's up, squirrely boy? Hey, what's up, old man? Are you Johnny? Who's asking? Gerald, are you Johnny? Sure, bro, what you do you need? Heard you got monkey butt. Friend. Ah, oh, dang it. Yeah, right, friend. I don't have it. No luck, old fart. I should have told him, Larry. Dang it. But you know where to get it. Just leave me through the bouncer is all I'm asking. Hank has good reasons for not letting any old weirdo in. I can't remember his accent. I might help, but what's in it for me? Yo, listen, I'm a detective. My target is in there. You help me out. What are you serious? Prove it. I don't trust no stripy mobster. We're hearing that from a squirrel, don't you find? Shut up, at least I don't smell like garbage. Oh, that's good. <laughs> At least my mother's not slaving her way in the farmlands. Fuck you, I'll get you in. But I hope you overdose and get eaten alive by feral geese. Meet me at the entrance right after you. Hey, it worked. Sometimes you just gotta give them that tough love. Talk to the bouncer. What are you waiting for? You get me beat up, Johnny. I'm gonna, I'm gonna beat you up. What? Here's Johnny. Hey, Johnny. Where? Oh, hey, Johnny. Where you been? Skyper, you can come in. Don't cause any trouble. Thanks. Go inside. All right, we're in. Jazz, alcohol, beautiful dog ladies, all a little too high and for my taste. Let me make sure I'm not missing anything. That's a fox. Renee, the fox. Well, you're unusual. I'll take that as a compliment. As you will. Though it was just an observation. Renee Wilson. Walter, pleased to meet you. Hmm. That's a fake name. You're too young for a Walter. Calling it, that's why. You would have not said that no matter what name I gave. Now I'm gonna say, well, I'm Walter tonight. Delightful. I text. Did you ever snared anyone before? What's that mean? Do I detect sarcasm? You're my first. Let's celebrate sometime. Take my card. Is she a woman or a dude? I can't tell. Investigative journalist? I guess it doesn't matter. Renee's a girl's name though. It's a living usually. Have you seen an otter gentleman here tonight? No, but I only sat down a minute ago. Got it. It was lovely to meet you, Renee Wilson. Goodbye. Colby, hey there, you here for Eden Simmons show too? I'm so happy to see her live finally. I haven't heard of her quite her before, it has a nice sound though. Well, I'm probably a bit biased, but yeah, she's great. You sound like a big fan. Got a record player just for her. May seem a bit extravagant, but definitely worth the investment. She's mostly all I listen to. 
That's the first time you're catching her live? Yeah, yeah. My mom doesn't approve of this place. Had to do a bit of sneaking to be here tonight. How come, if you don't mind me asking? Eh, I don't think she's stepped in a bar in her life. This place is about ten times sleazier in her head. Sounds like it was worth it. Good music. Ah, huh, well, you can only be sure if you stay for the whole show. You know, I had to do my share of sneaking to be here tonight. Nah, let's ask her about. Wish I could say, I could. Say, have you seen an honored gentleman tonight? Here's his photo. I think I saw him earlier tonight. Was his hat green? Oh yes, and so was his tie. I thought that was funny. Did you see where he went? I saw him come in and talk to the Afghan lady in the J collar dress. Thanks and enjoy the show. Oh, it's her. Hey honey, name's Ingrid. Can I help you with something? You work here? You could say I'm part of the staff. You've an air of a hostess about you, but I, ha I haven't seen you greet guests. What exactly do you do? Depends on who's asking how much money you have to spend. I'm Wallace, editor at Hawthorne Publishing. I haven't the deep po deepest pockets, but I do well enough. Sounds promising. I'd urge you to visit us with urge you to visit us with regularity. I can assure you that your loyalty be rewarded. That's good to hear, but can I have a hint of how my loyalty will be rewarded? Oh, alright. Who can resist a charming gentleman? It's an elite membership club, invitation only. Can't believe I'm saying this, but I'm slightly disappointed. How so? Did you set your expectations too high? In a way, I was hoping that I had found the source of these rumors. Go on. It all started when I was having trouble negotiating my entry with your bouncer. Hank can come off a little strong. Still, it's his job to be selective. A place like this has a reputation to maintain. What sort of crowd matters. Well, he eventually let me through. Yeah, I'm curious. How did you manage that? Once Hank's mind is made up, it's quite challenging to turn it around. I asked Johnny to help me out. Oh, I see what you're getting at. You're here about a sweet tooth. Well, that's just what I told you. you got me. Well, there, I can help. You're going to need some loan, though. Quite a bit. Maybe next time. I'm broke, so goodbye for now. I need to get some money. You got some money? You want to be my sugar mama? Clarissa? Polar bear? You look a little lost. I'm exactly where I need to be. Oh, you're so confident. Not trying to stir up trouble, are you? Hypothetically, say I was. What then? I'd have Hank show you to the door. Generally speaking, troublemakers are bad for business. Oh, you have a stake in the state of this business? I do. What kind of stakes? I should formally introduce myself. I'm Clarissa of blood at worth. I own the bike. I must say you've got great ambiance and lovely music. Thanks. I could quite strive to offer high quality entertainment at the bike. To, who, to whom do I owe the pleasure? Name's Wallace. <laughs> pleasure is mine, Wallace. What do you do? I work at a publishing house. Do you enjoy reading? Quite. How can I help you, Wallace? Say, do you have any leisure tips for a guy like me? I could arrange a boy here to mix something up for you. Some folks say that the food from our chef is to die for. Or just relax and enjoy the show. Eden's voice is something else. What brought you here in the first place? I heard you provide more exciting services. Hmm, depends. What sort of fun did you have in mind? I feel like that's a trap. But at the same time, 
there anyone around us that would care? I heard I'd be able to procure some high quality monkey butt around here. Interesting. Where did you get that idea? Oh, give me some of that monkey butt. <laughs> Johnny led me here when I asked where to get it. If only I knew who's Johnny. And do you believe everything you hear? Because I sure didn't believe a single word you said to me tonight. I don't know what you're talking about. I was never untruthful. Mr. Wallace, if that is your real name, you're doing a terrible job at being coy. And it's just in bad taste for my establishment. I would have to ask you to leave. Too bad. I'm going to have to find somewhere to spend my money in then. As you wish, perhaps we'll see... Sure we will. Goodbye, Chris. Damn it! I got kicked out! Uh, well, we're gonna have to find a different way in, boys. God! Crap! That didn't work out. Wait, my car too heavy. Heavily. What'd you say to me? Get the fuck out! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Dang it. Okay. Luscious. Madman will pay you no, 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 no. Okay, we gotta go back down the alley. We gotta get the door open somehow. Alright, help me, Larry. I got kicked out. Oh, Howard, did you, how'd you manage that? Doesn't matter, so they used the door back door. I think I somehow poked the bear. The bouncer. I met Clarissa Bloodworth. Oh man, what did you do? If she's upset, you better get used to watching your back. I need to find another way in. Now hold up. You said you didn't get into cases like this anymore. Doesn't matter. I need to get in. I need to. Alright, alright. Back door is used for delivery and this truck right here just arrived. Sometimes I hear voices coming from the roof. They might must have a rooftop door Tell me about the back door They have a little intercom box So you ring they pick up and then if you're someone they're waiting for they buzz you in any clue on how I could Come the one they're waiting for I have no idea. Maybe use some sort of code. You're the detective not me Tell me about the rooftop Well, most of these building old buildings have one problem is how are you gonna get to, on the roof? Maybe I could climb it from here. When did you learn how to fly? Are there smaller structures you could climb first? The press stand! Whoa there, that could work. You could start with it, then go to McKenzie and proceed along the roofs. But you should know what that bow is kind of a um, big nugget. The most accurate description of bow I've ever heard. You're welcome. Anyways, I'd suggest talking to him and see if he'd be up to it. Thanks for your help, friend. Goodbye. Was Bo the one that would tear my hair out, head off? What's up, rabbit? Florence, what you looking at? Dang, that rabbit looks like he's a junkie. You alright? I'm fine. Listen to you anyways. Never mind. Listen, I need to get into this building here. Haha, <laughs> it's sad right now. Why is that funny? I don't believe you. I know what you're trying to do. Well, I'm not moving until you let me see Morosi. I think you've got me confused with someone else. You're not one of them thugs. No, ma'am. Private Detective Howard Lorder. Nice to meet you. Detective, I don't understand. Just a quick question. Did you see someone go through this door? I, uh, two guys, cider truck drivers. Why? Need to find a way into the building. Can you help me? Maybe. I mean, not really. Tried the code at the door, but damn filthy slugs won't let me in. I just want to talk to her. Wait, what code? I memorized it. Great fire, damn me. I looked at the wrong schedule. Let me in. How do you not know your kids rose?
drives her nuts when I call her Rosie. She's turned 20, you see. Uh, don't want to be a kid no more. Oh, if they heard her sing Whisker on my baby's face, I swear I'm going to burn this ditch to the ground. Are you sure she's in there? She's my baby. I know where she is. I can sense it. So she's been visiting the bite before. Told me that she was waitress and liar. I asked around. Glitch a filthy drug den for whores. Fucking liar. When did you last see her? Two or three weeks ago. We had a bite. So you fought about her job at the bite and that was the last time you saw her? What about it? Nothing. I'll do my best to find her. Thank you. Tell her I'm waiting here. They haven't told her, I'm sure. Alright, thanks for helping. Okay, so now I have the code, maybe? Who have you been when you expect? Damn it, that's not it. You freaking lied to me, you ding dong. Damn it! Break in. Interior's filled with cardboard boxes and smells like rust. There is a weird looking recording device on a dashboard. The compartment seems to be unlocked. Try to use the device. It's a rec voice recording device. Hardwired into the drug dashboard, probably set for surveillance. There are several tapes that you can insert and listen to the recording. Select today's tape. You insert today's tape. Last recorded conversation is a male talking to someone on the intercom. Where have you been? We expected you one hour ago. Great fire, damn me. I looked at the wrong schedule. Let me in. That's not it. Open the compartment. You open the compartment and find a couple of newspaper and documents that look like invoices and checks. Go through the newspapers. Two newspapers for September and October. They don't look like anyone was reading them through them. Read the headlines. Epidemic continues to afflict Bustel. Geese may be spreading disease. Vicious attack at the wall leaves three defenders wounded, one dead. Look at invoices. They all mention a company called Starling Cider Limited Purchase Purchasing Unnamed Goods from Bite Foods LLC. The most recent purchase is supposed to be happening today. Close the department. Try to use the device. Dang, is that all I got? Great fire, damn me. Dang it, dude. Wait a second. Select tapes with dates and invoices. Where have you been? We expected you two hours ago. I can't continue working like this. Stanley's lost the truck keys again. You're late. We have five packages ready for pickup. Three is all I can fit in the truck. Ah, so the, it changes. Ah, aha. We did it. Damn it, dude. Ah, I missed it too many times. God. Whatever. I guess we're climbing it. I guess we only got so many ways to do this. Okay, crouch. What if I want to climb the... That's all. Howard, come over here, my boy. Uh, hi, Downey. Hey, little one, what are you up to? Found a job yet? My own PI agency, Downey. What the hell? Blah blah blah. If only you cut the bullshit and come to, onto the force, I can arrange that. Just ask your poor mama. Jeez. Thanks for looking out for me, man. But I'm fine. Yeah, yeah. You go now. Call your mom. I will. Bye. Ice cream. Old and Nora's still tending his shop, like always. She used to give me free candy when I was a kid. I should say hi, blah, 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 blah. Said, feeling peckish. I've got sweet, savory. You can mix and match. Make your own trail mix. How about that? 
Sorry, do you hang around Garenville often? I'm here from time to time. Can I help you with something, sir? I need to find a way into the light. The fancy jazz bar, I assume you tried the front door? Got kicked out of the front door. Oh, uh, maybe there's a back door. I really don't know the place well. You look like you're itching to ask something. What is it? Why'd you get kicked out anyways? Got into an argument that turned into a fight. Why are you trying to get back in? Sounds like trouble. Hard to explain. Do you know how I can get on the roof? Uh, sorry, I wish I could, but I've never been up there myself. I don't know. Of course, got salt and unsalted. Each baggie's worth a half loon, but I'll give you three for a loon. It's a steal. Just one. Is your name really Sid? Yep, short for Sidwell, but nobody calls me that. Has a nice ring to it. Sid Seeds. My Aunt Ruth insists on it. Thinks it's cute. Cute and memorable. Anyway, I gotta run. Where's the press box at? Rich people clothes. One sock is more expensive than my whole outfit. Ah, uh, there's a press box. Oh, it's a big bunny. What's up, big bunny? Bo, good day to you, friend. Fancy some fresh news? Sure, shoot. For half a loon, you can read them all with your own eyeballs. All right, here you go. What's the headline today? Front page today's Great Ape Parade. Pre preparations underway. Celebration starts Friday. That's probably actually what I needed for the thing. Hey, man, I need to get on top of your press box, for real. Hey, boss, I was hoping you can help me out. I don't know. I'm quite busy. You alright? You sound irritated. Sorry, I'm just a bit of a slow day to begin with, and now that hawking rodent stealing what little clientele was trickling in. Wait, who's stealing your clients? That Pika with the card. You really gets on your nerves, huh? Look at it from my point of view. I have to register for a seller's permit, permit and pay allowance. I walk a thin line between making a profit and some setting prices. People will actually buy it. Yeah? Well, here comes this rodent who doesn't have to worry about allowance, rent, or utilities. He undercuts my prices by a ridiculous amount and ends up stealing my business. So what do you want me to do about it? I want that damn rodent. Can you take care of that? It's not really what I do, Bo. All I'm saying is you scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. You're lucky I'm desperate, I'll go talk to the kid. Which kid? Oh man, are you talking about the, the peanut kid? Alright, you gotta move, bro. Hey Sid, not quite, I have a strange favor to ask. What's up? You've got other places other than Granville just where you shut up shop, right? Sure. One of the advantages of selling on wheels, I'd move around. I need you to roll somewhere else. Wait, what? I hate to do this, but Bo from the press team. Well, uh, do you have a seller's permit? What? You want to know? You're not a cop. Look, Bo's been talking about you to anyone who will listen. So what? I can handle old stash, no problem. You don't get it. It's just a matter of time before the cops come and check you out. Yeah, right. I know you're just trying to scare me off at Disney. No, I'm just looking out for you. Pfft, yeah, right. I could have reported you, gotten credit for it, but I decided to warn you instead. How do you know, how do I know you didn't? Oh man. Just have to take my word for it. Now imagine how many people Bo has sold. Why should I care? You're the first that's been this annoying. Allowance evasion. People get credit for reporting this kind of stuff. You can outrun Downey any kind 
any day of the week. You're thinking small. If reports keep piling up, the force might decide it's time to do something about you. You're bluffing. What if I'm not? You guys are bullies. You should be ashamed. I probably did pick the wrong answer here. <laughs> I bet you have plenty of profitable and less risky spots to visit. I'm leaving, alright? Just shut up and leave me alone. I'm sorry, dude. I, th I could have handled that better, probably. Dang it. Seems the choices do matter. But I don't know how much. I think it matters in the... Let's see. Socks, takeaway, boxes, cigs. Aha! Ticket to the bite. Thanks, trash man. Oh, that would have been nice to have beforehand. Hi, Bo. Let me in. Well, what happened? Scared him off. Don't think he'll be back for a while. How'd you do it? I threatened to turn him into the cops. It won't last. I tried that before. Well, at least he'll be out of my pelt for a while. Go ahead, but be careful. Thanks. All right, we did it. Well, I can honestly say I felt it every way except for this one. I'm the king of the world. Take it, Foxy Burger. Might actually save the other playthroughs of this for when the game actually comes out. But. I'll just do the playthrough that I got for here to see how I. To just get to the end. If I make it to the end. If not, I'll have to do it again. Whoa, that's a view. Yeah, it's kind of bad view, dude. Everything's run down as crap. Ooh. Dang, he is a ninja for real. <laughs> Raccoon gonna do what a raccoon gotta do. Wish I could just stay here. If only pigeons would accept me as one of their own. Yeah. Phew, I think that's it, green bastard. You better be there. Enter the bite. He's drugged out, dude. He's drugged out. Full solid snake mode, boys. Keep up. Parsley Brew, also known as Anti-Baby Potion. Yep. Bite's definitely a brothel. I should stop staring at Parsley and get the hell out. Sneaky sneak. Should be the Bite's second floor. Staff room for girls. Maybe I'll find something useful to lead me to green or some sort of evidence. Back mirror table. Taking time off, Rose. Give me a call, I miss you. How was I supposed to grab things again? E? Darling, could you take a minute? Clean? Need to pick up. Happy birthday. Well, we know. Why would I drag this around for? I'm curious. I don't know if there's a reason to. Maybe I'll find out later. Cosmetics and mirrors seem so dead, had the right hunch. A single note on this one says, Some honey for your tea, Mom swears by it, Greg. Sink is coming from the end of this hall. God be. Enemies can't hear you when you crouch and don't see you behind dark objects. What's a dark object? Like this? Okay. Am I coming? Ooh, ooh. He doesn't see me. <laughs> Sneaky boy. Call me Solid Snake. You failed. What? How do I know if he can see me or not? Hmm. I can't see over there, dude. Oh my god, how do I move my camera? Like what? What do you want from me, game? Oh shoot, I was putting my earpiece in. Don't kill me. You suck. It doesn't seem like it's dark here anymore. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing here. It doesn't seem like I can move my camera. You would like that. Of 
Bro, I can't see over there. Like, why is my camera not moving? Like, what is going on here? What? I can't. If the camera doesn't move, I can't play it. <laughs> like, this doesn't make any sense. Is there a way to move the camera? Like, I don't... The problem is my camera's not moving, so I don't know. Maybe if I leave and come back, he'll let the camera move again. I don't know what's going on with that at all. Uh-oh. Alright, dude. Chill. You're not gonna go the freak away? <laughs> I think. Damn it. Sorry, but I, did. I was just trying to see if I could go through that door. Yeah, this does seem kind of glitched though. I don't know if it is or not, but it seems glitched. It's like I can't see what's going on over there. I don't know, I can't I can't play it if I can't see what's going on. It doesn't seem like the camera will move for me. I've tried other buttons, like all the buttons. It's not working. Unless I'm supposed to go to this door, but it won't let me. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know if I can... I don't think I can play this. If the camera doesn't move. It's like, literally, how am I supposed to know if I'm... Maybe I can sit right here. Is this dark? Does this count as dark? And I can sneak past him? Let's try that. I think he sees me. Yeah. Don't get caught next time. Thank you for the helpful advice, but it's really hard when I can't see where I'm going. Like, see, the camera's not moving. I can't tell where the freak I'm at. Oh, well. Guess I'll post it on the Steam page. Oh, hey, I hit the E button and it worked. Okay. I guess I got to just smash the E button until you go somewhere, I guess. Shit, I missed him. He's just been here. I could smell the monkey butt. Maybe he left something behind that could help Odell. Odette. Green tie is stuck behind the frame. What if I budget? Budget. Do it. What the? Secret lift and green went in there? I wonder what's in, on the other side. Wait a second. Green hat. That must be the monkey butt. To be honest, I imagine something nastier than herbs, but oh boy, it stinks. Alright, might just well take a shot, get in there and press a button, find the guy or maybe something exciting. This club is definitely hiding something. Uh, whatever, let's just do it. Oh, at least we've found some way to advance, I don't know. I just smashed the E key while I was sneaking, so. I'll put that in my review, just in case that's a glitch. I don't know if it's intended like that or a glitch. Fuck is this place? What are they burning down here? Clothes? What the fuck? Scissors? Should take these in case I need to cut something to get out of here or someone. Jeez. Yeah, this doesn't look good. 
controls are stuck. I can't go back. Fuck. Freezer, green one and ice and ice cream and went through the secret painting to get it. Doesn't make sense. I gotta keep digging. Or Vittori delivery schedule. What's this? Greg, if you're gonna swipe stuff for the girls, you need to make a note or you mess up with the inventory. You mess up the inventory. Took, honey. <laughs> Intercom. Probably don't want to call anything to be honest. Door is closed, but the hatch is open. I might be able to crouch and crawl through to wherever a creepy fucking place awaits. Always wondered when I'd end up in a place like this. Yippee Kaye, motherfucker. Three cooks, I can't get caught now. I have to get out of here. Well, why'd I do that for? Oh wait, that was a good idea actually. Oh shit! Okay, I messed that up. Oh. <laughs> okay, redo. Yippee ki yay! Die Hard reference. I'll oh, turn it on. There you go. Sneaky sneak. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, do I want him to come over here? Uh oh. What do I gotta do to get past that one? That one doesn't want to move. Dang it! Maybe I could have. I could have. Maybe just rushed the door by pressing the E key. Maybe I'm gonna try that. Get those two out of my way. Hit the E key. Slide on out of there. Come on, man. Let's mixing. Come get your mixer. There we go. Oh, it didn't work. Okay, it didn't work. I gotta figure out some way to get that pull away from the dang. Nobody picks up. Oh, kitchen. Kitchen listening. What's up? What's up? <laughs> Wait, who is this? Don't move. Okay, that was probably... I think somebody's coming. That was probably a bad idea. Perfect. <laughs> he said, he said, what's up? <laughs> That's an old one. That's an old, that was like a meme before memes existed. I needed to move quicker than that, my bad. <laughs> that, that gave me a kick. He said, oh, that was good. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I missed that. I remember that was a thing when I was like in middle school. Like Scary Movie 1 came out. Where Ghostface is just like screaming it down the phone. Lord almighty. Hey. What? The door's not opening. That's bull. What did you want from me, dude? I got him out of the way. <sighs> Let's try something else. You suck. Who is this? Don't you fucking You absolutely suck. I 
wonder why this door won't open. That's really annoying. Why is the door not opening, dude? Like, I'm there. I'm at the door. What is this hate? Don't hate. Boy speaking. Hey, boy. Greg, are you stuck in the freezer again? Yes. For Abe's sake, call the kitchen. Someone will get you. Kitchen listening. Oh, yeah, it's Greg. Stuck in the freezer again. Fucking hell, Greg. When are you going to learn? Hold up. I'm coming. Maybe this time it'll let me go through. I don't know. I don't know why it's not letting me go through in the first place. Like, I'm getting to the dang thing. Oh, I hit it too many times. No, perfect. It's possessed! Ooh! Please let me out the fucking door, dude! What the fuck? <laughs> it gave me an e- This game has pissed me off. I don't know if it's glitch or what's going on. Check your pizza, I wanna order a large pepperoni. Wrong number, sir. This is Bites Kitchen. Who is this? Don't go anywhere. You're not my dad. I wonder if I can just sneak past him. You didn't see me. I don't know, dude. Why is it not letting me go through the freaking door? Is this game glitched again? Ugh. <sighs> Let me go through the freaking door! <laughs> oh, man. I'm getting mad. I don't understand. Is there a reason why the door's not freaking working? Is there a reason? Maybe I'm missing something. Maybe I... Green was here. Something, something. Maybe I need the scissors or something. No, I got the scissors. Bro, I don't know. It seems to be glitched yet again. And I don't know if I'll be able to get past this glitch either. Oh, the freezer. It's the same intercom you're using. God dang it. You absolutely suck. I just want to see what they're going to do. You can't see me in here, right? Oh, he somehow saw me on the way back. Weird. Come on, man. Maybe I gotta hit both mixers and all that stuff for it to open. Who knows? Got it. You want from me, game? Let's see. I don't know, dude. I don't know what you want. Oh, I can sneaky sneak. This is like low sneak. Oh, come on, man. Why do you come out like standing up? That don't make no sense. Maybe if I reopen the game, but I don't know if it's gonna save. I'm about to give it a try, and if it doesn't save, I'm just gonna say, uh, oh, the game's too glitch, can't do it. This is probably like the second possible glitch I've ran into. 
Because honestly, if they want you to sneak past that dude without being able to see what's in front of you, that's pretty... That's a crappy mechanic, I think. People might not care what I think, but that's still... That's how I see it. Ooh. Let me go to the door, dude! Let me go to the door! It even gave me the interaction one time. It gave me the interaction to go through the door. Now I won't do it. Maybe I'm getting too close to the door. One more try. I'm gonna give it one more try and then we'll restart the game. And if it's still messed up, I'm just gonna be like, whoa, okay. Like, I'm kind of, I like the game. Like, it gives you, like, alternate routes to do things. It's, like, pretty interesting. And freaking, it looks nice. And then it just stopped working for no reason. Yeah, it, 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 let me go through the dang door. I'm gonna, I'm gonna open it. I'm gonna close it and reopen it and hope it works. Oh, you better save, you ding dong game. Don't tell me you did save. Egg nut. Continue. Hey! Just continue from the right point, please. Alright, let's see where it puts me. Oh, <laughs> thank the lord. Yeah, I don't know if it was an update. Now I won't know if it's an update that fixed it or if it was the fact that I restarted the game, but hopefully it's fixed now. Hey, we're doing it. Oh man, he almost got me. Let's go! Yes! Thank the Lord! Gregory, you maybe keep your papers on your locker. Now, you fart. <laughs> nope. Going haw. The wall is an embrace. Sets the mind free and keeps the city safe. Rising star Andrew West pushes trawlers to final versus starlings. Apes delight. I don't know what apes is. Is that the town? Like, what is up with that? I don't know what this is either. Mid one. Just move all the things that seem important to this dude. Be a jerk. What is a square, circle, diamond, triangle? Remember that. Square, circle, diamond, triangle. Greg, keep t turn key downstairs by your station. Nice. Thanks for being a doofus, Greg. <laughs> Cade lock. Hmm. That's not it. Okay. Interesting. Packaging lift. If only I could find a turnkey, I it would lead me upstairs. Wait, what was this? The note says something about a turnkey. Log. Objectives. Inventory. Hmm. Wait. Wait a second. You can navigate, but I don't think you can actually use those in the menu. I'm missing something here. There's got to be a number that's important. There's a five. Five's important, it would seem. Hmm. I wonder why these have holes in it. Three. There's a three. Five, three. Those are too many numbers, I think. Six four one. Five three six four one. Oh. Could be the eighteen on this dude too. 
Five, three, eighteen. Let's try that. Five, three, eighteen. Damn it. Damn it. Ah, there's something going on here. There's a 10, 10, 10, 10. Wait a second. Square, circle. Which one of these has the right shapes on it? I would wonder for that. Which pictures line up to this too? like a one ah this is what we do I'm a freaking genius sometimes four one four this could be completely wrong but who knows zero what does this go on top of the card one four zero five what order does this go in? It doesn't matter. It kind of matters, actually. Is that a zero for sure? Yeah, it looks like a zero to me. One, four, zero. Okay. One, four, zero, five seem to be the numbers. The five is a diamond, so it goes second. That's a circle. That goes second. No, this goes second. This goes third. And then the triangle, what are you? Are you a triangle, I guess? Uh, yeah, sure. This probably goes last. So zero, four, five, one. Zero, four, five, one. Boom! Oh, I'm a genius. Oh, that was actually, I'm actually surprised I figured that out. Usually I get stuck on puzzles like that, especially with the combination. I usually get demolished by that crap. That was a really neat puzzle, though. Where the fuck am I? Ape shit. Where are these packages? I need to find a way out. I don't know, man. I can't see shit. Are we even going the right way? Does not seem... We just move rooms? See him. Oh shit, he's dead. Oh my fucking what? Body. Green, he's dead. Fuck, what have you gotten yourself into? Wow. Somebody's coming. Quick, I have to hide. What a good hiding spot. Damn, they killed him. Who's that? It's a monkey. Is that how he makes monkey butt? Uh oh, whose phone is that? That's not mine. Right here. No, I'm still working on a cut. Oh, uh, okay, I'm coming. That's Greg. What? Plot twist. Damn, green man. Sorry, Jazz, you, even you didn't deserve this. Nobody does. Take the key. Return key. Maybe I'll make it out alive. I hope. Check these packages, though. Delivery order. Bites food. LLC. Destroying. Starling Cider Limited. What the fuck is this? It's flesh? Oh no. Oh no. Gray's gonna be butchered for food. They're eating people. Howard, run now. I'm gonna get kidnapped. I know I'm gonna get kidnapped. That's gonna be the end of the prologue, probably. No! 
<laughs> I don't think I'm gonna make it out of here, boys. Use the lift. Uh, where are we at? They're eating people! I didn't find Rose, but I made it out alive, boys. These jams just got like super awesomely loud. <laughs> Let's go. What up, crap? Oh, I'm throwing up. That was like blood coming out of me. I was like, oh no. The dark underbelly of a city ran by animals for animals. Find out what happens next time on the next exciting episode of Backbone. Whenever we finish this. This was a neat game. I ran into like two little glitches. But I'm glad that you can get past them if you do the right thing. Kind of. And But other than that, like the graphics are super dope. The game. Oh, I really like that one puzzle. I wish there was more puzzles. And I like that they gave you alternate means to like accomplish a goal. I don't know if you can fully do those alternate alternative means yet. I'll probably figure that out when I do my like next whenever the game fully releases and I have to replay through it probably. But yeah. Thanks for watching as always. If you could please like and subscribe. Bye. Oh. Well, we'll watch the credits. Um I didn't watch him. KFC Nashville hot chicken. <laughs> Special thanks for the endless encouragement. That is a good endless encouragement. Cockatrice crossover double. Oh, is that are those people? I thought they were actually talking about the KFC. And there's all the Kickstarter people. Hooray. You're doing the Lord's work. Oh man, look at some of these names. Green Chili. That's a good name. I like that. Actually, I had to like. Hmm. I don't know if I've had green chili. I've had green hot sauce before, though. Lord McAfee. Dang, a lot of people put money into the same. I mean, it was a pretty good game. I'm excited to see the further release and see how the story plays out, but. Yeah, that one puzzle, I actually really enjoyed the one in the locker. I thought that was a really neat way to do it because it was confusing at first, but it wasn't so hard to figure out. And it was a really neat way of doing it by making, matching up the holes, the card that had the same size. I thought that was really neat. And then using the symbols in the top left to figure out what the order was supposed to be. That was really cool. I actually really enjoyed that. Did I start my recording again? <laughs> Finished the game, didn't record it. Like, <laughs> what the? Man, there are a lot of Kickstarter people. My goodness, people wanted this game to happen. We're not even through the tease yet. Like, what the? A lot of raccoon people funded this game. Can I skip? There is no skip. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> I love credits. God dang, I wonder how much money they made off Kickstarter. Had to be a lot. There are so many people that put money into this game. <laughs> uh, I wonder how many names this actually is. It's probably up to like 300 and something. There's clapping. I don't know if that's in my headset or on the outside. The game froze. Oh. Alright guys, like I said, thanks for watching. Bye!